Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Red Dead Online for the first time in a little bit. And we're going to be doing a revolver guide. Now you may have seen one on the channel before. That one was actually just three revolvers and it was for the single player campaign. This is actually for the online mode. So what we're going to be doing today is either top five revolvers, you could call it that, or we could call it ranking all the revolvers. Basically I'm going to show you which one's the best, which one's the worst. I'm going to give you the official ranking and tell you what each one is good at, give you some basic stats, all that sort of stuff. So we're just just gonna dive right on in you know I don't think there's any more preface needed than that we'll start off with number five so the first revolver we're gonna be looking at the one that placed number five on the list is the double action revolver and this shouldn't surprise anyone that's played the game at least a decent amount given that it's just not a very popular revolver bear in mind for this video that a person with a full health core and the full health ring around the core has 120 health points so whenever we're talking about damage know that we're talking about the amount of damage done and so you can calculate how many shots it'll take with any given weapon to kill a person at full health uh that being said obviously there's things like headshots which can almost you know, if you're within range, usually kill someone in one shot anyway. Guns are interesting in this game, but it's more of a PvE sort of a thing where we're talking about the damage because, I mean, when it's me, I just go for headshots no matter what I'm using. So I basically just kill everyone in one shot as long as I hit them. So with the double action revolver, we can actually deal 25.25 damage. So that's a little less than five shots on the body somewhere to kill a given individual at full health. Uh, this one is actually the most inaccurate out of all the pistols. That being said, it uh, so when I'm talking about accuracy on this, we're going to talk about that ring around your uh, reticle when you're aiming with it. I've just been kind of calling it the accuracy ring. And so for this one, it takes almost a full second for that ring to shrink all the way down to just the reticle uh, when you're aiming. So it's very slow to get this to be accurate. And this one actually has the biggest ring out of all of the revolvers when it starts. So... And just so you know, with that ring, that it's basically RNG, so it's a random number generator to say where the bullet is going to fire inside that ring. That's how all accuracy works in Red Dead. This one has the biggest ring, and it's the slowest shrinking ring. So it is the most inaccurate out of all of the revolvers. This one also has the slowest reload speed, being even slower than the Cattleman revolver, which many people complain about, which is weird considering it's a double action revolver, where the whole cylinder pops out to the side. Generally speaking, I mean at least with speed reloaders, this is one of the fastest displays to reload a uh, revolver but in this game it's actually the slowest and it only holds six bullets which you know pretty standard for a revolver but later on in the list we'll see that that rule is not always true it should be noted that if you really really like the double action revolver for some reason it is actually the most accurate revolver when you pair it with the gunslinger's choice ability card so if you're going to be using that and you want a dual wheel double action revolvers it actually becomes the most accurate although the damage is still the lowest so that is number five Let's just test it out a little bit. On the bright side, it's got a decently fast fire rate. We're gonna we're gonna draw on this guy. Hey, old still guy. Let's try to get a, a couple well-aimed headshots while we're uh, while we're testing this bad boy out. So see, look how big that ring is. And while you're walking, it never gets any smaller than that. And if you hold still and aim. See, headshots will still kill on one hit. As you can see, if you do your kill in uh, real close range with these revolvers, it's going to be fine. And I think that's what a lot of people like using it for. They'll dual wield them because it it's got a decently fast fire rate, especially if you're using two of them. Ah, a knife. So as you can see, the double action revolver is not useless. A lot of people will claim that it is. Honestly, it's not. And like I said, if you pair it with that gunslinger's choice, which I'm not, and none of the numbers on my list are going to be influenced by uh, cards or special ammunition types. But if you really want to use it, you can. It's just, it's the worst out of all five of them. So next up at number four, we have the Cattleman Revolver. Another one that only holds six bullets. Like I said, that's going to be a pretty constant theme throughout this video. This one does a damage of 30.9. So that's a little more than five points more damage than the double action revolver. So you're actually going to notice a noticeable increase. That's going to be bringing us from that almost five shots down to only four shots. So, or sometimes less. So this one is significantly better damage-wise. This one takes 0.75 seconds for the accuracy ring, that, that circle around the reticle that I was talking about, to shrink all the way down. So we're, we're saving about a quarter of a second on uh, the, the aiming time for this one. So it's significantly faster. This one takes less than 2.15 seconds to empty one revolver. So that's the fire rate. It takes 
2.15 seconds to fire all six shots and 3.9 seconds to empty two revolvers so if you've got if you're dual wielding it you've got 12 bullets it takes uh, less than four seconds to empty both of those guns so it's got a pretty fast fire rate a lot faster than a lot of people think uh, it takes 2.5 seconds to reload one of these revolvers so it's slow but not as slow as the double action revolver and it takes 5.1 seconds to reload two of them this is one of the guns where it is faster to reload one than two of them and that may sound funny it's a whole point one seconds longer to reload two of them and you know it kind of makes sense because you'd be holding them with only one hand and trust me if you could reload two single action revolvers like this in 5.1 sec seconds you'd be some sort of a record holder because that is ridiculously fast so like i said this one is a significant improvement over the double action revolver in damage accuracy and reload speed but not fire rate it's got a slightly slower fire rate than the double action revolver but let's uh test it out so if we can find someone that wants to square up we'll try a quick draw on them oops that was a little bit too quick Not bad. I was going to say, I, it, it seemed like we uh, accidentally killed that person in our first shot. So you can see it does still have a pretty good fire rate. Like, it's, it's a little bit slower than the uh, double action revolver. But not, not real slow. Accuracy is higher, and we can tell that. And it's got, because of that higher accuracy, we have a little bit more effective range. So... If we try squeezing off a shot at one of these marshals from over there, you know, if you give it its time to shrink down, we've got a got a decently accurate gun. Then, Let's see how good we are while we're moving. So honestly, in my opinion, because I'll see a lot of people debate this all the time, cattlemen versus double action, I don't think it's much of a competition. Got a bob and weave. So you can see that the dual wielding fire rate is much, much slower than the double action revolver. But reload time is actually quicker. So that's number four, the Cattleman revolver. Let's move on to number three. So right at the middle and number three, we have the Schofield revolver, the gun of choice of several famous Wild West gunslingers, as well as our very own Dutch Vanderlind from the main story. Uh, this one, uh, again, like the previous two, only holds six bullets and it can be dual wielded and you can use all your regular ammunition types like standard, express, split point, explosive, etc. But using the standard bullets, it does 34 damage. So that's almost four damage higher than the Cattleman revolver. So again, we're seeing a significant increase. Uh, however, this one does have an even slower firing rate than the Cattleman revolver. It reloads slightly slower than the Cattleman when one-handed, but slightly faster when using both of them. So, whereas we saw with the Cattleman one, it taking longer to reload two at the same time, the Schofield one is going to be a little bit quicker. Uh, so if you're going for two pistols and you have to decide between the Schofield and the Cattleman, the Schofield's going to be the one that's going to edge it out. This one takes 0.75 seconds for the ring to shrink down with one, so that's the same as the Cattleman revolver. But while dual wielding, it takes 1.2 zero five seconds so it's a little bit more accurate with two than the cattleman revolver is with two or it's a little bit quicker to be accurate with two than the cattleman revolver is with two uh, honestly a decent choice a lot of people especially before they get enough money to buy the top two revolvers in the game which are pretty expensive uh, a lot of people are going to go with the skull field and some get so used to it that even later they want to use it and honestly it does work as both pve and pvp because it can hold its own if you're good enough with it and you're comfortable with how it operates it uh, is quite effective even stacking up against some of the higher end uh, revolvers in the game. So let's test it out. So as you can see, quick draw is pretty normal with it. Let's see if we can fan this bad boy. So it doesn't fan quite as fast. I'm not used to that slower fan speed. But let's, uh, let's test out the accuracy while we're moving around. So while we're walking with it, you can see that the, the accuracy ring is a little bit smaller than the Cattleman Revolver. Uh, one of the advantages with this one and the double action over the Cattleman is you don't actually have to click twice between it because you're not cocking it. So you can just actively walk and fire. So if we're doing that, we can just keep going, you know. As you can see, the uh, reload time is similar to the Cattleman, but slightly faster. So let's try to do a mag dump, see how long it takes to go through all 12 rounds. As you can see, especially while we're moving, it's decently slow. And again, like I said, that reload. Not the fastest thing in the world, but it's not bad. Let's see if we can go through them faster standing still. Slightly faster. But look how inaccurate that bad boy is. And just for good measure, let's try to get some longer range shots.
So as you can see with the uh, Schofield Revolver, we actually start getting into pretty dang good revolver territory. And honestly, I think it's pretty underrated. But that's number three. Let's move on to number two. So next up at number two, we have a close runner-up with the Lamat Revolver. And this one is going to be a lot of people's favorites. In fact, I've seen, it seems like the people who really like doing PvE, so the people who just like running around killing people, which you know what, I guess that's fine. It is pretty fun to do. But sometimes it gets a little annoying. But in any case, this seems to be their weapon of choice. And it makes sense because it's got a lot of advantages. So this one is the first one that doesn't hold six bullets. This one actually holds nine bullets, plus a shotgun shell option for the underbarrel. So if you run out of ammo or you just want to do some, I guess, close quarter shooting, maybe inside a building or something, you can actually switch to the underbarrel, which is a shotgun, which is pretty deadly, especially considering I don't think that looks big enough for it and that would have hella, hella big recoil, but you know, that's just real life gun physics. Let's just focus on the ones in the game. So the Lamat does 38.85 damage. So that's a whole 4.85 more damage than the Schofield Revolver. So this one is starting to get pretty dang deadly. And that brings us up into the two and a half, three shot range for body shots and obviously one shot for headshots. This one's going to do just a lot of damage. So, and that's just with the, uh, with standard uh, rounds. If you use any increased rounds or if you use the shotgun, obviously, then we're becoming into very, very overpowered territory. Uh, in fact, with express rounds in this one, I want to say you can one-shot a lot of people with torso shots. So it's a, it's a very powerful gun, especially considering you can pack two of them. And when you do, you've got 18 rounds at your disposal. So that's, it's basically like having one of the higher repeaters, that like that much ammo. Uh, this one has the slowest reload speed, but again, it should be taken into account. That's just the time going from zero to full. And since this one holds so many more extra rounds, it kind of evens out with the Schofield. I mean, the Schofield or the Cattleman. It's it's around there for reload time if you do per round. Uh, the accuracy ring takes 0.75 seconds with one and 1.25 seconds with two. Basically, it's the same speed for it to shrink as the Cattleman and the Schofield if you're just using one. But if you're using two, it's slightly slower than the Schofield, but slightly faster than the Cattleman for it to become most accurate. So it's still middle of the road for accuracy, but we've got much higher damage and higher rounds that it can hold. Uh, it takes 10.7 seconds to reload all 18 rounds rounds though. So if you run it empty, you're going to need to find cover because that's a long time to be reloading. Like I said, then you've got 18 rounds at your disposable after at, at your disposal afterwards. 11 seconds is a long time to be reloading your gun in the middle of a firefight. So let's uh, test this bad boy out. This is a revolver that I really wanted to be my favorite. It's just not. I don't know why. It just, it doesn't do it as much for me as the number one, but let's test this bad boy out. Look at that quick draw. I just love how much damage it does. You know, you just, first of all, you just take people right off their feet, you shoot them in the torso, I love that. <laughs> but you two-shot you two shot most people if you shoot them right in the vitals. Uh, as long as those vitals aren't their head, because then you one-shot them. It is, it is a slow reload, though. It takes a little while to get used to that. Alright, so before we get too carried away with our gunfighting, let's test out one of the more important things with this gun. It does have a decently slow fire rate. But like I said, you're doing a lot of damage. So this is about how, how quickly you can fire rounds out of this thing. But look at that splash damage. Okay, now let's see how long it takes to reload. Like I said, it comes out to just shy of 11 seconds when I timed it. So it's, uh, it's lengthy. <laughs> but let's try some, uh, some more accurate shots. That's one of the things about the uh, this one that a lot of people don't like to talk about. Even though you've got crazy good damage, you don't really sacrifice a whole lot of range or accuracy with it. Not if you're willing to take your time on your shots. I guess we haven't tested it up close. We could try doing that since I'm about to die. Oh no. Well, that's number two, the uh, Lamat, a lot of people's favorite. Uh, let's go to number one, which should be no surprise to anyone who's really tried out all of the revolvers in this game. And so it should be no surprise that at number one, we have the Navy Revolver. And this is not only best stat-wise, and I think the most popular, if you just judge it by how many people you're going to come across using it, but it's also personally my favorite. This one also, like most of the previous ones, only holds six rounds. It does a damage of 41.8 damage. So if you thought the Lamat was high, this one is a couple points higher. This one brings it, like I said, honestly, I've one-shotted a ton of people using this one, not, not counting headshots, which is almost all 
Eloise, but I get with this one because it's crazy accurate. This one is the most accurate out of all three of them. The accuracy ring sh uh, shrinks the quickest, whether you're using just one or both of them. It's got the best moving accuracy. It's got the best range. It's, it's honestly, this one is accurate. It's the long range. It's quick. I love this gun. It has a slower per shot reload than either the Schofield or the Lamat. So it's going to be a quicker reload action. Like, ironically, a lot of people think it's really slow, but it's actually slightly quicker than both the double action or the Cattleman revolver on your per shot reload. But it's slightly slower than the Schofield or the Lamat. But I think you make up for it with that crazy high damage and the excellent accuracy because I honestly just miss a lot less shots with the uh, Navy. This one takes 7.5 seconds to reload both guns. So yes, that's quicker than the 11 seconds it takes to reload both Lamats, but you gotta remember you only have 12 rounds with these ones. Like I said, honestly, my favorite one in the game. I think it's the best looking and it's definitely the best performing, so let's test this bad boy out. Oh no, our, our quick draw guy is gone. All right, we'll try it on this guy on a horsey. As you can tell, it's got a much better fire rate than the uh, Schofield or the Lamat. Look at that pinpoint accuracy. But yeah, let's uh, let's try out both of them. Quick, see how long it takes to uh, do a mag dump with these bad boys. Like I said, noticeably quicker than the Schofield or the Lamat. So we're already increased on our fire rate. Our accuracy is higher. Our reload time was actually not bad. If you saw, that didn't take super long to, to do. I think he's joining in on my gunfight. How nice of him. Honestly, I can go all day with the Navy Revolvers. I, I very rarely die with them just because you can really take out your enemies at long range. It doesn't take that long to reload. It's got a nice high fire rate. It's honestly the best revolver all around. A lot of people try to act like each one has its own purpose and there's not an ultimate best. I disagree. This one is ultimately the best and none of the other ones compare. Like I said, if you don't have the Navy, maybe you can't afford it or I don't know, maybe you just don't like it. The Lamat works, the Schofield works, but none of them are actually adequate replacements in my opinion. So that's uh, top five revolvers or all revolvers in Red Dead Online ranked. If you like this video, of course, I invite you to like and maybe leave a comment. Uh, I'd be real interested to know which one is your favorite revolver, which one maybe you use the most. Uh, for whatever reason, maybe you just like it. Maybe that's all you can afford or maybe you like how it looks. Uh, I'd love to hear down in the comment section. So if you could uh, like, comment, all that jazz. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.